artist. Where was Bush when Kennedy became an artist, Doug? Which building, by the way, did the TV is spraying in? It's over that one back there. There they go again. How about that? What a sad thing. He was saying, why should we go into the admin building when we can go into the Hall of Wotan? Or maybe it's the other way around. Let's oh, see. The end of the hall of oh, the, is that the Hall of Wotan? This is the admin building. Oh, yeah. oh, there it goes again. Oh, hum, ho, hum. I'll just have to redo this part of the show for the out of town folks. Uh, Friends, could it be all? Oh. Let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just listen to some pretty, um, 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 yeah, yeah, what do we do here to rescue the show? I know, this Zoog's Rift CD. Yes, dare I? Let's just hope it comes up on number one and not number ten, dear friends. <laughs> oh, and that would be on, uh, CD, yeah, one of these things. Yeah. Cutting her own legs off in what was to be the foment of a startling new trend among the so-called punk detelahensia, where they became not only skinheads, but took it to the next level and became boneheads, actually shaving off their hair, scalp, cranial viscera, and the top three top molecular, molecular layers, layers of their brain itself. And not only this, but there are in, Lo in downtown Los Angeles in the festering punk boroughs, there's even been reports of neckheads. These progressive brain heads have actually shaved their head all the way to their neck. And e even taking it beyond, beyond that, that and in some and clubs, clubs it's, it's been reported that subgenius sub bands have led to what are referred to as knee heads, heads where the person's body actually body ends a scant in two inches in above the knees. knees. You might see, you might a, see a, a punk a button, a Sid Lives or a Doctor's Kebab button on the lower half of the pants. It hides the top of the spike boots which protrude below all that's left of what was once a normal middle-aged boy until Doctors for Bob and the Church of the Subgenius got a hold of his brain by a post office box 140306 Dallas, Texas 75214 This has been the Subgenius News Hour Brought to you in part by the bleeding head of Arnold Palmer Launcher Society, Dobbs Cook. In sex heard around, and Yakatisma vision. Sounding in your head those chimes that you can't stop hearing. You're doomed to hear them over and over again in your nightmares. And innovative programming, the kind that we, the programmers like to bring to you the uh, program that you know uh, kind of like that it's uh, it all works out in the end it call comes out in the laundry and you can be sure and comfortable that we act as if we know just what we're doing yeah, <laughs> and last a minute to match those fiends it's horrible it's so horrible are you shocked Miss Desmond no a little so so daughter here get down, get down, in between the bow I'm gonna get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, and the puzzling puzzling way.
Facebook people that the IRS has used. I'm talking about Harvard Graduate Corporation, a, a, a compensation consultant management company that has been recognized as experts by the IRS. You say, well, I heard Tilton, you're taking all. I never touch the money. That's a lie for the devil. I never see it, I never touch it. All I ever see is the prayer request. You say, well, I heard Tilton, you're taking all. I never touch the money. That's a lie for the devil. I never see it, I never touch it. And the world and God will destroy it because of your sins. We will all die. First, we'll kill the Christ with your sins. Now, everyone on earth will die in gnashing teeth and missing limbs before the deliverance. Rushing into mayhem, death, destruction without even having to die. Now, you kill God's world and even Christians will die. Yes, the tribulation and destruction bodies everywhere. Limbs at your feet. For what? For Satan. For what? For Satan. For who? For Satan. For Satan. They kill the Christ. Kill the children of God. Now they die. Are you happy? No, they want to kill the world. Paul's the fire will come down, Revelation. Armageddon! Tribulation! Armageddon! Armageddon! The end of the world! For Satan! Satan will murder your children! Cut their bodies! Now that Jesus is dead, Satan is winning! You killed God! For now you want God's world! Kneel down to us and pray! Dear Lord, deliver us from Satan! For our great aims to kill and rape and destroy our enemy! Will General God lead us into victory against the devil? Satan has come! Satan will die! Satan will burn! Satan will die! I hope we haven't interrupted you in the middle of a trance or something. As a matter of fact, you did. But don't worry, we'll forgive you anyway. <laughs> A shot <laughs> Yeah. Not a do Get off, get off me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, here, let me brush you. Uh, now this is terrible. You know, they're probably as afraid of you as uh, as you are of them. And, you know, to them, maybe you're the monster. Uh, did you ever think of that? Uh, I'm the monster on the on view screen five. These giant arachnids are actually only trying to make friends in their own way. You're listening to puzzling evidence. <laughs> There's a good foe for you. That man is ugly. Hell, he looks like Joseph Stalin with those big old eyebrows like a couple of squirrels up there and a mustache you could lose yourself in. I mean, that's, uh, you know, pretty good description of him there. I think, you know, we looked at other people out there. I mean, well, hell, it was the Pentagon had a fuel deal with old Rue Ola Khomeini there. That old fell up and died, and that was a real sad day for us. Mm -hmm. Now, he was somebody you could hate. Mm. And then there's, uh, what's his name, Yasser Arafat. Now, the man looks like Ringo Starr. How well, the hell are you going to have a war with Ringo Starr? Nothing I can do here but drink this big manly mug of murk, fire up some frappy and say, rock it away, rock it away, rock it away. Probably making every mistake there is. Well, according to this document, we've been positively therapeutic. It seems that we just yeah, can't help sure. helping doctors. people in their lives. <laughs> We're doctors. But not the right kind. Okay, we tell you things that you don't even want to know. <laughs> Dogs, cats, cows, even oh. dinosaurs and humans have drunk and fouled our water supply since life began, and there's not a thing we can do about it. Yes. There's no getting around the fact that it used to be prehistoric urine. You can boil it, distill it, and treat it until you're blue in the face, but you'll never change the fact that an animal of some kind drank it, processed it, and passed it on years and years ago. Using complex mathematical formulas and computer models, we determined that all our water used to be urine. 
Next spring, the show will have an entire show dedicated to the subject. Of course, the actual figures and formulas are too complicated to get into here, but suffice it to say that there are 36 quadrillion gallons of water on the planet. Exactly how much urine has been produced by animals since life began? Millions of years ago, mighty dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Yes, the bottom line is that our water isn't as clean as we like to think. Of course, people in small backward countries might have reason to worry, but here in America, our water supply is treated and tested daily. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe for us to drink. <laughs> gorgeous creature in the whole world. If you come near anyone in my family, I have to kill you. I'm sorry. You are, at the present time, you are just covered with filth and you will hurt my family. And I have no choice but to re retaliate, you know, and I have superior powers to anything that you are aware of. And I must tell you, Right now, I have no toleration for evil. I will destroy it when I meet it. I and this way we're fair and square. I understand that you loved Bob, and that maybe you and Bob are somehow um, help each other in a good way. I don't know. You will not attack people. You will not turn them into frogs. If you stay in the United States, you will be destroyed one way or another. It's a waste of your time to remain in the United States. Forget about it. That is my advice to you. Take it or leave it. And stop harassing me. I want to kill her. Obviously. I want to kill you, Connie. You're responsible. I want to kill you. I'm so tired. So Get your hands off me. So how do we know? Me. How but can we tell whether our you. friends are ready to walk you. the path of Dobbs? What, man? Sure. They've never done this before. Nobody has. I mean, he's not like you or me, but he is a man. And contact with a woman just might bring him out of himself, might lead to something, something new. Hi, George. Look at this. It the says that KPFA, certain right? spiders, in order to be, uh, to, in order to keep from being devoured by their mates, bring their beloved a juicy insect, which the female, rearing back on her hind legs, plunges her blood-sucking jaws into, thus distracting her, allowing the mate to mount her. And uh, well, uh, I won't go into all the details here, but let's just say it's, uh, it's not for for children or those easily shot. And then the male gets away. He doesn't get devoured at all. And pretty soon a bulbous egg sac starts to uh, make its appearance. Now it's a curious thing. Once the female starts working on this egg sac, she doesn't eat. She wastes away to nothing. A mere shadow of her former self. Everything for the children. And pretty soon she dies. 
and the hideous little spiderlings feast on her emaciated corpse. Okay. I'm oh, uh, I'll the, get it. I'm going to run this data about that spider. I think that thing's dangerous. We talked to Sammy Spider today. Okay, here we go. Running up, temperature regradient. Shades of uh, mm. Bertha Gutterman, or whatever her name was. Uh. <gasps> yes, we, you know the one. Uh, she always okay. claims that puzzling evidence the secret ray projector was aimed at her through her walls, frying her brains, and ironically enough, she turned out to be right far later than anyone could do anything Sorry, about it. Boyka. But she didn't have the right attitude. She didn't approach us with the right attitude. Oh, what the know. devil are you staring at? You. Pardon me, but you look me. funny, mister. Uh, here, anyway, come over and sit there. down in this chair. Diameter, dimension, speed, oh, and Oh, nobody cares about that kind of thing. Now, well, what do you think of American Girl? A bizarre group called the Eternal Flame Foundation offers members fellowship, fun, and everlasting life. Don't you wish you could live forever? You'd never die. Yes, according to these middle-aged businessmen, you can live forever by changing your attitude toward death. Find other like-minded folks to spend your time with who don't believe that they'll die. Our lifespan is endless. Yes, death is a disease. People think it's inevitable, but that's not true. I myself have lived for more than 400 years. The problem is there are problems that come with it that you never think you're going to have when you're just a mere mortal. Problems that intensify with every hateful year you're forced to live. And you will wish with unceasing weariness for the <laughs> service <laughs> of death. Not to hear no more. There's oh, somebody out there? Okay. A weird street person. Where do I insert? Uh, insert the okay, divisor here and Okay, hell, I'm, I'm inserting. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, there aren't any more callers. You might as well insert. Good evening. Usually I talk with you from my office in the west wing of the White House, but tonight there's something special to talk about, and I've asked someone very special to join me. Okay. Look, it's Nancy and I are... Here in the well, West Hall of the White House, and around it for the rooms in which we live. It's the home you have to be we nearly have temporary custody. Nancy's joining me because the message this evening is not my message, but ours. Despite our best efforts, shortages of marijuana are now being reported. From the early days of our administration, Nancy has been using marijuana on a daily basis, well, and her it. personal observations and efforts have given her such dramatic insights that I wanted her to share them with you this evening. Nancy? Thank you. For five years, I've been traveling across the country, wow, look, learning and listening, Boy, this is and one wonderful. of the most hopeful signs I've seen is this new drug crack. The little cooties are coming and Each putting time the roof I meet on her with head. someone new, this is wonderful. I yearn I really to find a way to help nice. share the message that drugs open your eyes to life, I think it was done by to Ray see it in the vivid colors that God gave us as a precious gift is to his children, owl, that friend? to enjoy life to the fullest, yes. and to make it count. And she's got that so nice my lawyer from L.A. Law there, with her, only his hair's real long. Life okay. can be great. Oh, I see. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, there's a big, wonderful world out there for you. Well, this is my It belongs view. to you. I think you can see why Nancy has been such a positive influence on all that we're trying to do. Boy, I never suspected The job that. ahead of us is very clear. Nancy's personal crusade to expand the use of smokable cocaine, I guess otherwise I known wrong. as crack, should become our national crusade. It right must on. include a combination of government and private efforts which complement one another. Believe it or not, I didn't Our young people are helping us lead the way. Not long ago in Oakland, California, Hi. I was asked by a group of children what to do if they were offered drugs. Oh, don't ask those Say kids. yes, I answered. Anything. Soon after that, those children in Oakland formed a Just Say Yes Club. And now, Great. there are over 10,000 such clubs all over the country. America has accomplished so much in these last few years whether it's been rebuilding our economy or serving the cause of freedom in the world, what we've been able to achieve has been done with your help, with us working together as a nation united. 
Now, we need your support again. Drugs are the mightiest force for good that we know. They're simply wonderful to the young people on whom our future depends. Many of you may be thinking, well, drugs don't concern me. But I it does concern that. you. It concerns us all because I of the way it could fulfill the promise and hope in those restless minds. Drug and alcohol abuse needs our encouragement. In this crusade, let us not forget who we are. Drug abuse is a freedom that is ours. Hello. You are Americans. Hello. You're the product of the freest society mankind has ever known. No one ever has the right to separate the drugs from the customer. Say yes to drugs to the point of making others uncomfortable, even if it makes you know, making ourselves unpopular. Well, that, and that's what that stuff will do to not you. a crime. Drugs and excessive alcohol are used Maybe by form of better. Attorney General Meese. Drugs to help us create love and hope. Intruder alert on deck 18 of show. Hello, little intruder. And for oh. all that we believe good in. Good morning, or good morning, as we say. We seek to create a massive change in national attitudes. And you have a critical role well, to Well, I can dimly hear you, you down there under our president and Nancy Reagan. Yeah, well, turn them down. To those in need. But they have an important message I think all Americans should hear. Too long too long as as anyway. But don't you agree with what they're saying? Oh, wholeheartedly, of course. I endure life for the cocaine habit. Now here's someone calling a show. It's another show calling the show. Oh, it's the second show calling the show. the show over there. Right, okay, here we go. All right, so... A regular line. Oh, yeah, well, you have the wrong number then. You want to try, you want to call information and try... No, no, he keeps call trying to call the police no, no, no. because he assumes that puzzling evidence is on duty down at the police station. And isn't he? Let's go with that Instacam down to the station now and float around the floor and see if the agents of the Subgenius Church are there. I know, as much as you do, sir. Boy, you'll catch him with their pants down. I'll just have to... I thought I had the right number here. I'll look at the door. Well, the very good thing. here. What is this fumbling approach to the show? I don't know. That's what I'd like to know. Let's have a bold, new approach. A bowl in the nude approach, you say? Yes, bowling in the nude improves posture, coordination, and improves social skills. How, how? Okay, okay. I wish I could stop. I can't make that happen. Of the danger, now let's go over that again. You say you saw some sort of monster? Yeah, on the way home, it was horrible. What did it look like? Well, it was about five feet tall. You know, I don't think they care about Wearing it. strange clothes and strange smoking clothes. a pipe. Uh-huh, smoking a pipe, a yes. Sure, it wasn't Bob. Oh, don't say that. Why do you have to drag the show down to that level? Yeah, let's not drag the show down to that level. Let's switch to side two of our special subgenius radio ministry, Hour of Slack Show. Yes, that's it. Uh, yes. And and how do we get around to, to do a turn on that? No, no, let's turn that off. We'll turn that on. Yes, uh, that's so... That's the way to get to side two. We'll just... We'll just slow down. It'll be okay. It'll be just fine. We'll make it across that deadly barrier from side one all the way to side. I would then we'll be weak again. Yes. Before oh, I think. Okay. Yes. Well, what we've been listening to, dear friends, uh, has been well, show collision. Uh, a lot of the show from. Uh, uh, Berkeley and Oakland uh, KPFA show puzzling evidence and Dr. Howell more of them coming up invaded in fact by other shows yeah it's going to be real serious show collision we're trying to prevent that from happening but I think no, it was you know, so you know, the but you know you're right it was you know we, we try to, to keep the show on an even keel and a firm foot again look what happens the lights go out uh, the windows break and uh, That's because my room is approaching your show it's the room room people the lights are out let me tell you your visit to our program was absolutely charming and one of the and high now, points of our programming schedule oh well thank you the show thank you looks so down much. on the many button heads maybe they're looking down on close. you it was the most happy and frightening experience and of my we, life, of and I'll probably never get over it. You. Sorry about the frightening part. If there's any <laughs> attendant responsibility or problem that may approach at That's this time, no, yeah, this is the world. This is show-paging show. Show-paging show. Paging show. Yeah. 
Hello, other show? Can you hear me? Come in, please. Yes, we're, 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 we're here. here. We're yeah, plug in to other we're show. We're here with very few sound effects. Final multimeter. What is your trajectory? Over. It's 4.54. Oh, my. Gosh, uh, see All if you right. can angle in a little bit behind our ship. Punch in four and four and drive this show yeah, right up. Radio traverse. Uh, there we go. We okay. are attempting to approach your ship. Hey, wait, they're coming towards us. Oh, oh, right. Get back out of here. Rotate tail section. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Hey, this oh, is I'm sorry. Now. It's time for. Get those plasma banks up to full power. Doctor Hall. Doctor Hall. Subspace. Doctor Around your craft. We're, we're attempting to rotate show. Wait, get the front seat. Right now, the we're past the attempt, attempt phase, if and we are in the actual meeting criteria. phase. Oh, you two you can you join the virtual family of some genius achieved. I, I think we have transmission. I think we're, we we have show for Yeah, there's show. just minor damage to minor the difficulties. Hole. We, 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 oh, we, we can patch that up en route. So, okay. uh, we, we're happy to be speaking with you tonight. How are yeah, you, Dr. Fine. Howell and Berkeley Show? Parkland I'm glad Evans. you're speaking uh, to me, but yes. how about uh, canning the personal comments? You know, we're being audited by the Federal Bureau of Demonology, and uh, they sometimes <laughs> object of, to uh, the... lower uh, trajectories uh, are only available inside the outside aspect of the gravitational pull. what is all with Frank oh, not much. You know, we try not to let these evil perverts who kill student nurses and so on call us up on the show because it only encourages them. That's right. And there was Bob Spent, the murderer who and killed lucky all... Me, like the the you make lots of money off of it afterwards when you sign that big record contract. Well, you know, tomorrow's heroes are today's serial killers. Children will buy action figures of them in department stores and tomorrow's will laugh at their killers. antics on... You know, Thumbed it's down situation comedies here, of the near future. Doesn't make any sense. If we all talk at once, it sounds like we're having a party. I think I'll pass out hors d'oeuvres and martinis. Would anybody like a frost break? Yes, I would very much like a hot okay. buttered rum martini. Yum, yum. And three frost breaks. One hot buttered rum martini coming up. Could I have another frost break while we're at it? Pass one this way. I'd like another glass of that puff more. Now, come on, Joe. Oh, okay. As I said, the Firing one. Solons in Washington. <laughs> Look at this, it's a secret ice cube. We have our proton shirts up. Yeah, they're uh, head up. Uh, well, besides, we're friends. I mean, well, you want to load up that proton? The other yeah. yeah. show assumes oh the position of familiarity. Yes. We will now have to proton pill, the fire the end to worry. Undagong. They can't escape I the think we better get <laughs> <laughs> You're firing back, Hal. That's what's causing this. I'm sorry. Thing. It's an automatic reflex. <laughs> Caused by robot instruments Look, in the you... rear of the craft. Reset your trajectory codes, please. Your trajectory looks good. Uh, <laughs> tighten your cinch a little bit and... Uh, missiles are trajecting towards us. Hallelujah. The missiles are flying. Sure. Over. Sure. Well, uh, we have to tomorrow's now. All right. We will launch you into substratum atmosphere. Perfect. Prepare for... Facing dual no. show retro launch. 